Hello there, my name is Hocus Pocus and welcome to today's tutorial video. I'm going to be showing you how you can build a 1.14 iron farm and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So uh, to start out, you're going to need some chests, some hoppers, some glass um, or any blocks of your choice. I'm going to be using these six blocks here and finally some fence gates. We will need a lava bucket as well in a second. So what you want to do is start out by digging a two, two wide hole like this and slot your double chest in like so. Behind the double chest, go for a three by three hole like this and then you want a central chest of hoppers that runs into the back of the chest and then on the outside just have three hoppers that run into uh, the central chain like so. Above these hoppers you want to place some fence gates and this is going to hold up the lava so you want to open these as well so that the iron golems can fall through once they make their way to the killing chamber. And then finally you're going to want to put some design work in but I'm going to quickly speed this up and once we're done I'll bring you guys right back in. Okay, so once you're done with the design work, of course, as I mentioned, you'll need a lava bucket and you want to come right over the top here, place your lava bucket one block above the trap doors here, uh, sorry, the fence gates. Only need one bucket right at the back there and that will spread over to create a lava blade, which will, of course, kill the golems once they fall into the trap. All right, guys, so now that we're done with the first step and we've created the uh, killing chamber for the iron golems, we're going to move on here. So what you want to do from this point is you want to raise up the blocks by two here. So I'm using glass so that we can see all the way through and then I'm going to top those off with slabs. And then on this side here, you want to bring out the uh, flooring by two more there. And I would advise using glass here because this stops any uh, spawns. And you don't really want the golems to spawn in this area if possible. You want them to spawn back here once we've created that section of the farm. So uh, use glass here if you uh, want to keep things the same way as mine. And then in between here, we're just going to run some slabs like so. And then also on the other side. And then this is mostly design work from here on out. So I'll speed this bit up ever so slightly. Okay, so uh, once you've got your um, killing mechanism looking something like this, so of course extended by two blocks either side so that you can keep the iron golems where you want them to be, you want to grab some signs. So for this, I'm going to be using the dark oak signs just to fit the theme. And then you're also going to want some buckets of water. So of course, grab yourself some of those. And then from this point, you'll want to go like this and place three signs running across the gap here. And this is going to allow you to keep the water where you want it to flow, of course. So let's do that on the other side as well. And then you can place your water buckets in on either side like this. There we go. And I've actually realized we've made a mistake on this side. So we actually only need to raise this up by one block. So you can take one layer out from there like so. And that should be good for the time being. So at this stage of the build, you should have something looking like this. And from here, we want to start building the essentially what the spawn platforms will be for this build. So you want to bring this layer of blocks back by another seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven for a total of eight. So let's fill in the gaps here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And the reason for this is because water flows eight blocks and we're going to be placing water at the back of this platform here. So let's fill that in. There we go. And then finally, a bit more design work. Okay, so once you have your design work in place, like I quickly showed you there, uh, what you want to do next is to grab yourself a water bucket. So let's get the water in and we can just replace the logs for now. And then what you want to do is place your water down, but I would advise that you do it by 
placing it on the block at the back because if you place it on the slab it will flow down instead of this way and as you can see the water flows right to the edge of the panel here or the uh, spawning platform I should say. So any iron golems that are falling here are going to be forced all the way down into the killing, me killing mechanism with no way out and then from this point on you might want to raise up your walls ever so slightly so let's quickly do that. There we go. And as you can see, this area is ready for the next platform to be built away from it. But before you move on, I would also again advise that you uh, place some more slabs down. This should stop the iron golems from making their way out of the farm and also stops them from being able to uh, spawn on the walls of your farm here, which of course you don't want. You want all of the iron golems to spawn down on the platform here. So on to the next step. All right guys, so just so you're up to date, this is what you should be uh, looking like at the moment. And from here we can go ahead and prepare ourselves for the next layer by just building up an extra block either side. But we're not going to do that right now, we're going to go ahead and jump into the villager storage area. So for this you're going to need a few different things. You're going to need some glass, of course, which you've already got. You're going to need some of the dark oak slabs and the smooth slabs. You're going to need some looms because these are the easiest of the villager function blocks to create. And you're also going to need beds and a lot of beds, so uh, make sure you're prepped in that area. So first thing you want to do is create an area for your looms to go. And this is gonna have to be all of these blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, starting at your very first pillar here. And then on top of those slabs, you're gonna wanna place eight looms. And then from this position, you'll want to come down a block and bring out a four wide platform like this. There we go. So four across and so four wide by eight, so eight this way and four that way. And then you wanna place beds like so on one side and then turn around and place them on the opposite side. And then on the opposite side, again, you'll want some more looms. So make sure you know where to position those. So like this and then get rid of, oops, we know we want to do this and that. And then we want to place our loom right there. And then of course, bring that all the way across like so and then place looms all the way across. Oops, not like that, we wanna place one there. Come down, get rid of this, and replace that. You can then come under the farm and get rid of all of these slabs, because if you leave them in place, the golems will be able to spawn on them, and that is something that you don't want to occur, so make sure you get rid of those like that, and then of course you have something looking like this. From this position, you wanna grab your glass and go like this, place a row of glass all the way across the looms like so. Do the same on the other side and that should give you eight glass on either side. And then you'll want to take your dark oak slabs and lay those across the top of the glass. Same again on the other side. Perfect, and that just voids any spawns on top of the uh, looms whilst also keeping things looking good. That is one of the main goals of this farm is to make it look good as well as being functional. And then from here, you wanna take the glass inside across by four like that on either side and then do the same on top there. And you can even fill in these corners if you want to. And then right at the back here, you're gonna to wanna to take these slabs all the way across like so. And you'll, you'll want to recreate this on the other side. So let's quickly get that done. So there we have it. We have our villager cell on the right and our villager cell on the left. So of course, you're gonna eventually need to put 16 villagers in each of these cells, one for each bed and each workstation. Uh, but before you do that, you need to set up the first two beds for the next layer to stop them from being able to escape. So to do that, you'll want to just take your um, slabs here, bring it out to that level and then just build across like so. And then you wanna place one bed going that way. Oops, no, we've gone too high. One bed going uh, this way. One second, there we go. So one bed going this way and one in the opposite direction. You can then remove the slabs and do the same on the other side, of course. So let's go over here and do the same thing. So one bed going that way and then one in the opposite direction. Remove the slabs and you should be ready to put your villagers in place. So from this point on, of course, you'll want to uh, move your villagers into their cells, but we're gonna use the spawn eggs here. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And you'll see they all pick up the, um, is it the shepherd? Uh, why, oops, we're actually creating babies. That's not what we wanna do, but that should be okay for now. I'll get rid of those in a second. And then again on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And there you go. They all take up their profession, of course, and they will be inside of these uh, 
these little cells and they shouldn't be able to escape from this point. So of course I'm going to quickly get rid of these babies and you might even see from this point onwards that golems will begin to spawn. They should do. Um, so give me just a second here. Okay guys, welcome back to the video. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of golems spawning now. I've added three extra layers to the farm, which I'll explain in a second. And hopefully we can just see the uh, spawns come through. So uh, whilst we've been building here, we've also managed to get ourselves over two stacks of iron just uh, just on the off chance of golems spawning whilst we've been working through the system. So if you want to add a new layer to your build, all you need to do is push everything up by one block. So as you can see, beds up by a block, loom up by a block, glass up by a block, and so on, so forth. So it's very easy to add new layers to this farm, and you just want to keep extending them back. You can also... Um, all right, at least I think you can stack this farm. So if you want to uh, recreate this a little bit higher up in the sky, I think you can do that. Uh, but you need to go up by, I think, five blocks just to ensure that the spawning uh, doesn't get ruined by anything down below and to uh, make sure that you're getting the most efficient spawns as well. And of course, from time to time, they'll spawn up here, but they eventually make their way off into the water streams like so and carry on down into the killing chamber below. So with this build, you can expect to get quite good rates, especially if you get around 200 villagers. So the... Um, the game mechanics work in a way where you can have up to 1 20th of the amount of villagers in a village. Um, so 1 20th of that amount will be the amount of iron golems that you are able to spawn. So if you have 200 villagers, you will be able to spawn 10 golems at a time. And uh, of course, that, that number multiplies with the more villagers that you add to your village. So that is it for this build, you guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope it's mostly uh, useful for you in your worlds as well. This has definitely been useful to me in my world. Um, in my Let's Play series. So if that's something you might want to check out, then of course, uh, search for that on my channel and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. So thank you very much for uh, being here today for this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, feedback, or you need any help with this build, of course, leave a comment for that as well. And finally, if you're new around here or haven't subscribed yet, then be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos like this and also a bunch of other Minecraft videos. And videos on other topics such as other games and that type of thing as well. So uh, once again, you guys, thank you very much for being here, taking time out of your day to come and watch my video. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.